welcome back. I am starting off this vlog with, of course, some oatmeal. I'm doing it a little different than in my last vlog. So this time I'm using um, still stevia in there, but then I put salt and vanilla extract with my peanut butter. I've never tried it before, so we'll see how it goes. But thank you guys for tuning in again for a second vlog. Um, I hope that you enjoy. The verdict is a 10 out of 10 recommend. It's so good. So good. Yummy. Hi friends. Um, it is now a few days later. I have not been very good at vlogging. It's just been a very busy um, past couple of days. But I just got back from the gym and posing with Shelby, who is my coach. I'm working on cooking up some turkey burgers and sweet potatoes. I'm not going to be having like a normal... I'm going to be slapping some lettuce on it, possibly some egg whites, so nothing very fancy. It's probably going to be a super ugly dinner, but that's showbiz, baby. I had Shelby take a video of me posing, so I'm just going to insert that here so you guys can see what that looks like. So enjoy. dinner is very colorful it's nothing crazy um, super low carb um, I ended up doing egg whites I threw some spinach in there because it's literally less than a gram of carbs and it's good for you so why not we've got some sweet potatoes lettuce I don't even know why I put the lettuce in there because I didn't even wrap it in my turkey burger but then turkey burger and then I have half a serving of just good old reg regular ketchup so it is beautiful it's gonna taste good it's a lot of my favorite foods honestly nothing overly complicated like yeah it might look like this gourmet like fancy thing but it literally probably took me 15 minutes to put together don't overcomplicate it it can still be good and simple doesn't have to be anything crazy you don't have to make extravagant meals and feel like if it you know only takes five minutes to make it's not healthy because that's not true because literally you can make a healthy meal within five minutes um, and it's delicious and I cannot wait to eat that turkey burger turkey burgers have been honestly like my go-to for the past week or so it's just something different delicious and it still feels like you're kind of eating like junk food but you're not because it's a turkey burger so i'm gonna go sit outside and dive into this what's up guys i'm coming at you from my car because this afternoon or this morning it's not wow okay 
This morning I experienced a entire new level of prep freezing in the office today. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take my lunch. I'm gonna go find a random parking lot. I'm gonna sit in the parking lot and we can have a little chat. It is 86 degrees outside. I don't know how cold the office was, but to me it felt like it was freaking 20 degrees and I even had two cardigans on. Um, I had my hot coffee yet and I was like, you know what? I cannot do this. I just cannot do this. So we're leaving. I'm gonna sit here for 20 minutes and chat. So my lunches this week have been your typical like bro meal, which sometimes simpler is better. So I don't really mind it, but we've got some shredded chicken. I shred it just because it fills up that whole space and then it seems like you're eating a lot more. And then some green beans. So this I think is like 175 grams and then this is five ounces of chicken. So your typical bro meal, but it's good, it's simple, it's easy to make, it's fast. You know, when you're meal prepping, you just, you just wanna get it done with. So you make chicken and beans. But I thought while I sit here and eat my lunch and enjoy the warmth before I have to go back to the freezing cold office, I would chat a little bit about what it actually takes to lose weight. Because anytime I post like a transformation picture or something like that, I always have people respond and be like, give me your secrets, teach me your ways. And like, that's just, it is, there is no secret. It's just eating less and working out. So like people are so quick to try like detox teas or like meal replacement shakes or just think like me, I thought this like, oh, like my body could just never look like that. When in reality, yes it can, you just have to do the work and be consistent. So there's no secret the recipe is literally calorie deficit, exercise, and be consistent. So if you do those for, oh my gosh, two months, three months, you're going to see it. And yeah, that is a long time to wait to see results, but that's what it takes. Consistency isn't something that happens overnight. Consistency is something that takes a long time to do. Nothing good ever comes easy. I mean, people teach you that about literally anything, not just fitness. I'm just vibing right now. I don't know why I don't do this more often, but I feel like these next few weeks, the deeper that I get into prep, if I keep freezing my ass off like that and the weather is going to be 85 for the next couple of weeks, like find your girl in this parking lot eating her food. So some things that I recommend if you're really wanting to get into this is download my fitness pal learn it inside and out um you can always message me on instagram if you want me to give you like a little tutorial run through it with you or find youtube videos get a food scale they're like ten dollars on amazon use it for one to two months weighing out your food until you get that general idea of like how much food you should be eating um a gym membership because Yes, home workouts are great and you can still do everything at home, like that kind of thing, but having that that financial commitment of a gym membership is just gonna make you go. And then do a little bit of cardio. If you're trying to lose a little bit of weight, you know, throw 15, 20 minutes of cardio in at the end of your lift. Um, it's all very simple things, you guys. There's no secret, there's no formula. If you work for it, you're gonna get it. It's not just given to people because they're lucky. Like, if you work for it, you will get it. And that's just a fact. I'm literally just sitting here waiting for this lady loading her groceries in her car to look at me stuffing my face with green beans and be like, what are you doing? Prep life, baby. That's all there is to it. Okay, well, my lunch break is over, so. I will see you guys in a YouTube second. Good morning, happy 
whatever day of the week that it is for you. Today is Saturday for me and I am about to head off to the gym, which I do not want to do for a few reasons. I'm just very tired today, I'm hungry. I feel like I could just keep eating and I don't wanna to go to the gym that I have to go to today. We're gonna to do it anyways because we have to and it'll be fine when it's over. It's seven in the morning, so I'm hoping there won't be a lot of people there. And I just wanna get it done and out of the way so that I can have a relaxing day. Today is supposed to be like 80 degrees, so I'm hoping I can get outside and tan a little bit. So I will be grocery shopping after I go to the gym. So I thought I would just end this vlog by showing you just like the staples that we keep in our house at all times. Um, what I'm shopping for is basically the staples. So I thought I would take you along with me and then show you um, basically what is kept in our house all of the time. Staple like healthy things that you can literally make any meal with. So I will See you in a little bit. I'm gonna go hit the gym. So behind me, I have everything laid out and ready to show you. This is not like a full week grocery haul. I kind of just had to brush up on some of the, some of the things that we get every single week that we run through every single week. So that is what is behind me. Um, I did grab two treats for after my show. I went there hoping to find um, these, I think it's called Elote, Mexican corn flavored Cheetos that have been all over Instagram and they didn't have them and I'm really upset about that. So I hope I can find those before my show. Otherwise I'm going to try and order them online or something because I feel like that would just be so good. It'd be so fun. And when this is all over, I cannot wait to eat. Ilote or Mexican street corn. I don't know how to pronounce it. I just know that it's freaking amazing and I want it. So anyways, completely sidetracked. All of this stuff is basically everything that I would get week to week. These are my staples. So hopefully you can find something beneficial from this. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and I'm gonna show you what I got today. Okay, first things first, a must. Especially if you are drinking over a gallon of water or two gallons of water like me, this sparkling ice. Um, it is freaking amazing. Every single flavor is so good. This one right here is my favorite. That's the one that tastes like Sprite. We've got um, egg whites, of course, just because they're quick, clean protein. And then um, fat-free half and half for coffee. Quest chips, so these are a little bit more expensive, but the macros are super good. And there's something crunchy, which I need crunch, but there's 18 grams of protein, five grams of carbs in a bag, and it's just insane. So I got those, and then we got the taco flavored ones, because duh. Next up, lightly salted. Rice cakes, you know the drill. Low macros, because we're macro budgeting, whatever. Ready in one minute jasmine rice. So these are super good. I personally do not eat them right now, but I get them for Alex, because if I'm making him a quick dinner, these are so nice to just throw in the microwave. And microwave for one minute. And then we're just moving over to our veggies. I just got tomatoes, lettuce, some peaches. Some lime because tacos are life and tacos without lime just does not do it for me. Avocado, I go through avocado like crazy. And then green peppers which are a daily snack for me. I just got some ham, that's just something that I keep in our drawer um, just because it's a quick easy meal. 
And usually with like Joseph's lavish bread, the macros are pretty low for a meal like that. We've got some bagels, bagel thins. I try to have bagels as much as I can because I do love them. Bagel thins are obviously just a thinner, thinner bagel, but still 25 grams of carbs is not bad for it. Fried beans because you know when I have extra carbs or on my on my high carb days, I fuck with refried beans. It's just who I am as a person. We've got some sweet corn. We've got some tuna. And then we've got the post-show treats that I got. So I'm obsessed with Oreos. This looked really good, so I got it. It's edible cookie dough. I think that'd just be something fun to munch on every now and then. And then, of course, Cosmic Brownies. I know I got a Cosmic Brownie Monster Muffin, but I had to. You know, I walked down the aisle. I saw it. I had to. These are coming with me to the show, and I'm going to bite into one of these. All right, guys. I am going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope that you found some useful information from like the grocery haul and everything like that. We are three weeks out today, so I'm really excited. Things are just shaping up perfectly. Thank you guys so much for watching three weeks out. It's time to push. These last three weeks are what matter the most. And I'm not giving up now. I'm not giving up until I get a trophy. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys all have a beautiful week.